lovely people look. Uh, <laughs> let me start off with this. Uh, it seems that I pissed off a few people and even some are putting words into my mouth. I never said do not vote. Uh, I did say it won't matter at all in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and just to put a perspective on that, uh, let's see. For those of you that wish maybe we would go back to like something similar to the previous administration, uh, how's it look for you right now? Work out well? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> look, this game that they play, the motions that we go through here, uh, you know, muscle memory, you know, uh, if it makes you feel better, look, I'm going to go vote. I'm going to go vote. Absolutely. It gives me a sense of normalcy in an insane environment here. Uh, at the extreme local level, sure, maybe a vote here or there could make a, a slight difference. I didn't say that wouldn't happen. I said in the grand scheme of things. Well, uh, it doesn't look too good, huh? Again, all of you that were big Trump fans and maybe still are and you like the way things were going, how do they look now? I don't think so good. It's this back and forth movement, how they keep people in this uh, state of, you know, whatever it is, it's going to play out again and again and over and over and over again. Uh, that's, it's really the truth here. So for those of you that heard me say, do not vote, please post a link to that. Uh, I never said do not vote. Uh, please go vote. Um, anyway, like I said, and I'm going to stick to my guns. In the grand scheme, it ain't going to matter. It ain't going to matter at all. Because you see, the bigger, the bigger plan, how everything is run, the entire economy, the entire financial system is run by the central banks. Everything else is just shit, okay? Uh, it really, really is. The things that greatly affect your life, uh, you know, it, it's all being laid out for you. It was before, it will again, it will be the same way into the future, period, the end. If you think for a nanosecond that this is uh, some kind of a true representative, representative democracy, uh, I'm sorry to let you in on this secret, but it ain't no more. Uh, that That's dead and buried here, okay? But uh, again, to maintain that normalcy, go stand on those lines. I, I'm going to do it. I'm, in fact, right after this video, I'm going to go vote too. Anyway. With, with that said, uh, I don't want, I don't mean to like, you know, rattle anybody's sense of reality, but when you do that, when you give people a shake, they get pissed off sometimes, especially when they're confronted with truth. Like for example, in the grand scheme of things, it ain't going to matter at all. If you think anything is going to get better for you moving forward, you think for a nanosecond that inflation is going to get better. How about this? We heard from the IMF today, the International Mafia Fund. Okay. Global inflation, how many times have we heard this thing? Global inflation may be close to peaking, over and over, maybe close to peaking, we're peaking, maybe close to peaking, no bullshit. This is, this, this statement from the IMF is what turned the markets around today. Did you see what happened? Markets started out higher, we went negative, and then all of a sudden we get this statement from the IMF. Okay. Oh, don't worry. Inflation is peaking. And what the markets read that as is, okay, central banks are going to start easing back on their aggressive rate hike stance. And what happened? MMRI dropped. 10-year yield dropped. A dollar. Massive reversal from being higher to lower. Stocks off to the races. Do you see the game? This morning, I said, let's see what they pull off. Let's see who they float out. Well, it just happened to be the International Mafia Fund, IMF, Monetary Fund here. And it worked. Absolutely worked. Uh, and, you know, it's, uh, did, did you watch CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox, the commentators? What's happening? Ooh, I'm getting that tickle. I'm getting that tickle. Ooh. <laughs> it's what they do. It's what they do. Um, look, uh, you get it here. I, I really hope you do um, with regard to the whole thing. The world is being pushed into an economic meltdown and a financial meltdown simultaneously here. And inflation is going to continue to rise. 
the cost of living, the, uh, you know, just the things that at their core matter to most people, how they can provide to their families. Um, it, it's just, this is going to get monumentally worse, not just a little bit worse, but monumentally worse because it, it can't, it doesn't matter who they want to put up in the higher echelons here of office behind that resolute desk, they all play the same game. They all do. The last President Trump, what was he, what was he calling for? Negative rates, weaker dollar. Okay, uh, no, wouldn't have been working too well. No, absolutely not. Uh, you see what the weaker dollar is doing already? Well, <laughs> could you only imagine? Look, yeah, this is it's happening, and it's going to accelerate. If you believe, again, that just by some miracle of your vote, the dollar is going to all of a sudden start gaining back purchasing power, and the cost of living is going to come down? Just by you pushing a few little buttons? Do you think it's going to work? Do you think it's the magic trick they're all waiting for? <laughs> How about no? Um, period. The end. And I, I know some of you are going to be so pissed off, but I don't really care. I'm, look, I'm telling you it straight. If you don't like it, you know, you're free to unsubscribe right down here. Just unsub and uh, that's all. And uh, go, you go join some other, other fantasy land freaking uh, YouTube blog. Uh, anyway, so here's the question. Here's the question. Are you ready? And, and I want to hear from you on this. We know what BlackRock said. BlackRock said after the midterms, all hell was going to break loose. Now, I really don't know what they're talking about. I honestly, they, they were obviously making reference to the debt market. Okay, whatever. Uh, do you believe that that's true? Me? I have no idea. Nor do I even care. I don't care at all. All right. What I care about, honestly, is getting out here and putting out information for all of you. That's the truth. Okay. Whether all hell is going to break out or not, I'm ready for it. And I hope you are. If you've been with me for any length of time, what have I been telling you? Be ready. Have the high ground. Um, prepare for a worst case scenario. I'm I'm ready for all those things, and I hope you are. So, do you believe BlackRock is correct? That right now, all of a sudden, something's going to happen and all hell's going to break loose? Look, for all I know, there could be some kind of a false flag, black swan. I have no idea, but look what they're doing. Every single time lately, we've seen the MMRI bump. Look, when it crossed 300, what happened? They float out and nick the pig. They floated out the other freak from the Federal Reserve, Dolly, uh, Fred President Dolly. Uh, and that, you know, obviously stabilized the debt market to a certain degree. Uh, today, we get the IMF. Oh, 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 it's really <laughs> 10 times, maybe not, maybe not 10. At least five times. We've heard the same dog shit, cat shit, bird shit, reptile shit, bug shit, uh, you know, whatever out of these organizations, and every single time it's been, a, it's been a false alarm, but it was enough to boost the stock market, it was enough to cause the 10-year yield to drop, it was enough to cause the dollar to reverse. Wow! Let, you know, like I said earlier today, let's see what they pull off. It's magic. Like pushing the buttons and hoping pushing that the buttons is going to be a magic trick. Oh yeah, a big clown's going to pop out of the top of the machine <laughs> and laugh in your face because that's really what's going on here. And like I said, at the local level, it might make a difference. But in the grand scheme, this is what I'm talking about. I get, Greg, I disagree with you. I disagree. Really disagree all you want. In the grand scheme, has, th has anything gotten better for you? Oh, wait, you want to go back to the, the Trump era thing? Oh. Well, we had that, and then we got this. How did that work out for you? Well, maybe we'll bounce back to some other freak show, but then it's going back the other way. That's what they do. It's a back and forth motion to keep your brain twisted. Do you understand? <laughs> the only way we can make a difference is if we band together, okay? Our politicians don't give a shit about you. I don't care how much you love them, worship them, want to kiss their ass, feet, hands, tongue, whatever it might be, don't matter. You understand? They look out for their own interests and the interests of their families. You and I, we got to band together. This m &on thing is huge. Okay, let's make this work here. Just find something good. Do good, and we can change the world. Otherwise, we're all dead. Yeah, you want to curse Greg Manorino out? Fantastic. Uh, lo lovely. Let's see how that works out for you. Anyway, with all this stuff, you remember from BlackRock, let's see. 
The IMF, okay, lovely. Consumer sentiment continues to drop. Oh, oh, you mean because people can't make ends meet, because they can't pay their bills, because the cost of living is surging out of control? Oh, well, why would you expect these people to be happy? But they're going to go push those buttons hoping for a difference. Won't make any difference, I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, I hope this has shed a little light on uh, on you, and I'm gonna go push those buttons too. Hey, but I'm not expecting anything to change. Okay, I really not. All they're gonna do is the same shit they always do: promise you the world and give you the shaft. Anyway, uh, dry, no lube. It's just freaking lovely. <clears throat> anyway, this guy here, regardless of anything else, look. I may say things that you don't like, and some of the comments you might say to me, I clearly don't like either, but that doesn't matter. We're still, we're still a family here, okay? And families argue, families don't see eye to eye all the time, but that doesn't mean we don't love each other, right? I think we've created a lot of love here on this channel, and an and, and argument is a good thing, you know? I see things my way, and you're clearly allowed to see things your own way, and that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still... Love each other. There's no doubt about it. There's no way on this earth, off this earth, or anywhere else that people are going to agree 100% of the time on everything. It's just not going to happen. And that's what makes the world interesting. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, with that, people, look, I, I, I really mean it when I tell you I love all, all of you. I really, really do. And uh, maybe I'm a little out there. And like I said, you're allowed to disagree with me. Of course, I would expect that. But anyway, um, we, we, we got this. We got th we know what's going on. I mean, at its core, we all know what's going on. We know who runs the world. Everything else is just an illusion. And I think you get it. All right. With that said, I'm going to go push some buttons and watch the clown pop out of the top. I'll see you, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye.